హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ మై ఫుల్ నేమ్ ఈజ్ ఏనుగు శివ మారుతి రెడ్డి ఐ కమ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఐలాపూర్ విలేజ్ ఆఫ్ జగిత్యాల డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఇన్ తెలంగాణ స్టేట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ గ్రాడ్యుయేటెడ్ ఫ్రమ్ సెయింట్ స్టీఫెన్స్ కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఢిల్లీ యూనివర్సిటీ విత్ అ డిగ్రీ ఇన్ ఎకనామిక్స్ అండ్ దిస్ ఇయర్ ఇన్ సివిల్ సర్వీసెస్ టూ థౌజండ్ అండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ ఐ హ్యావ్ సెక్యూర్డ్ ఆల్ ఇండియా ర్యాంక్ ఆఫ్ వన్ థర్టీ టూ అండ్ ఐ ఆమ్ ఎక్స్పెక్టింగ్ టు గెట్ అ కాల్ ఫర్ ద ఇండియన్ పోలీస్ సర్వీస్ మై ఆప్షనల్ వాజ్ పొలిటికల్ సైన్స్ అండ్ ఇంటర్నేషనల్ రిలేషన్స్ అండ్ అండ్ దిస్ వాజ్ మై సెకండ్ అటెంప్ట్ మై ఫస్ట్ అటెంప్ట్ ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ అండ్ ట్వంటీ వన్ ఐ కుడ్ క్లియర్ ప్రిలమ్స్ అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్ దాట్ ఐ put extra efforts in for prelims to clear the prelims specifically and fortunately uh, in, the, in my second attempt which is 2022 uh, i got through all the three stages and uh, i was associated with uh, forum ias uh, uh, through various programs uh, ranging from from pre- for prelims uh, uh, as part of the special focus group in both the years 2021 and 22 i was also a student of current affairs program of uh, dipin sir which in my personal opinion was a game changer for me and i was also asso- associated with the mentor guidance program uh, of uh, for for mains for both the years 2021 and 22 first uh, i got to know about forum ias through the blog of uh, anudip durishetty sir uh, who has secured all india rank 1 in 2017 i've read about the institute on his blog and i've uh, i've researched about it further and i've asked a couple of seniors of mine who've cleared the exam too and i joined so uh, since a young age uh, i've always been fascinated with the way governance worked in india uh, ever since my ever, ever since my days in school i was always fascinated by what lied on the other side of this uh, governance structure and that fascination at some point has become a passion and uh, after joining my college uh, which has which is notorious for producing so many civil servants uh there i got uh, a broader uh, idea of what a role of a civil servant is in uh, the nation development and uh, after that after conversing with a few of my seniors who have cleared uh, uh, civil services I've, I've, after talking to them i've realized that this is where my passion lies uh, i i wanted to clear the attempt as soon as i can I've, and in that direction i've put my efforts and fortunately i got in so uh, since from the 2021 attempt i had a lot of difficulty clearing uh, prelims uh, so in that direction i wanted to work on the uh, prelims and make sure there's no way i flunk it uh, in my second attempt and that's when i found out about uh, the sfg even though i was associated with it earlier i could not uh, dedicate a lot of time to it and follow the time table because uh, it's it's notorious for being very hectic and as it has daily goals right uh, so in my second attempt i've decided uh, whatever it takes i have to clear prelims by uh, by hook or crook and uh, so i've i've subscribed to the program again and this time uh, i followed each and every day's uh, syllabus uh, quite diligently it got very difficult uh, especially uh, in delhi when the, the temperatures are so low during the winters you'll have to get up at uh, six o'clock and get ready sit in front of your computer or come to the offline center here Uh, and give the exam it was quite difficult but uh, uh, at a much deeper level i think what uh, sfg has done was it has ingrained a lot of uh, confidence and uh, perhaps uh, without you even realizing it you are only focused on giving the exam at 7 o'clock so you wake up at 6 so your body cycle uh, it it sets according to the sfg schedule and uh, before you realize you're accustomed to that uh, whole lifestyle of uh, the first thing in the morning what you do is uh, you get into a problem solving method like i sir has always mentioned in his uh, mentorship talks you, you first thing is you give a 50 a 50 mcq paper and you get into that zone and you study for the tomorrow's uh, syllabus in that direction itself you think of the whole syllabus from a perspective of a question and answer format you think of what options can be asked how you, how to tackle with the kind of uh, options that, that that are given so in this way uh, sfg has helped a lot uh, for me personally so uh, the average number of hours that i've studied uh, throughout the course of last 3 years uh, is 8 hours and never more than that Mo- probably 9 hours uh, sometimes but like 8 to 9 hours was what i studied uh, for and for sfg specifically so i would wake up at uh, 6 6:30 uh, get ready and uh, give the exam from 7 to 8 and immediately after you give the exam you get the solutions uh, so you work upon what your uh, mistakes were and where you've gone right and how many how many questions you you were guessing and what the accuracy of those questions was so you do this analysis for one one and a half hour and after that you have your breakfast and then you come back 
and you look at the syllabus for the next day and you divide it into uh, two two hours of uh, three different sessions of two hours each and you try and uh, finish the syllabus and so i had this rule where uh, i would not go to sleep unless i finish the syllabus for tomorrow uh, so i i could not live up to it uh, every single day but uh, it did help me uh, in completing as much syllabus as i can as fast as i can so that was my daily schedule uh, in preparing for sfg so the important thing about uh, prelims is that uh, you score so high that you're not worried whether or not you'll clear mains that will play, play a huge role because uh, when i was checking the keys and i was always scoring above 110 uh, in different keys of coaching institutes and i've realized there's no way i'll fail uh, prelims this time around so i've only taken a break of a week uh, at max and after that i've subscribed to uh, the mgp program of forum ias and i gave my first uh, mains test on 13th uh, i still remember 13th of that month and the results were well, results of come on 19th of that same month so it's important that you start as early uh, as you can because uh, answer writing as you all have, as you're all aware it's a uh, you you can only improve uh, uh, step by step you can't directly hit the bulls eye uh, in your first test or your second for that matter so it's about uh, the number of tests that you give the number of answers and how you experiment with your style of uh, writing and to and try and develop an organic uh, way of uh, answer writing so for that uh, starting early is important and for that getting high score in prelims where you're sure enough to uh, you know dedicate uh, uh, whatever you've got Uh, in the next three months, so that's how I prepared for uh, mains guidance program as well. I had the option of uh, staying back in Hyderabad and preparing from there, and all the major coaching institutes have their presence in Hyderabad. There's a there's a decent enough ecosystem in uh, Hyderabad to prepare for civil services. But uh, for me personally, I've lived in Delhi for three years. I've graduated uh, from here, so uh, for me, I've realized that uh, if there's one city that I could call home. Uh, it was delhi rather than hyderabad uh, so that's why i chose to stay in delhi there's no there's no hard and fast rule that only if you stay in delhi you'll get uh, a good rank uh, quite a few uh, friends of mine have uh, stayed in their homes in tier 2 and tier 3 cities and i still managed to score uh, uh, get a great rank in the top 50s so yeah for me it was a personal choice that i've made uh, I've, i've come to delhi because i know this city i know the people here i have uh, a, a a decent number of friends so i would never get bored So yeah uh, that's why I chose Delhi over Hyderabad like I have uh, said uh, for me as far as mains is concerned uh, dipin sir's classes were a game changer so the structure of the classes is in a way that sir would uh, give it give it in a structured format this an introduction and what you can use in the introduction of that topic since the classes uh, happen in a, a topic wise manner so sir would choose a topic that's in the current affairs uh and he would discuss elaborately on various dimensions on that topic so because you have a ready made notes you you add up to the notes that sir has given to so the day the like the day, days leading up to the exam or during your mains preparation these notes come uh, very very handy like there the, the, you've got all the keywords that are associated with that topic at one place so you you don't have to look any further so that way i think that has helped a lot even in my gs answers uh uh for me i've picked all the uh, introductions and conclusions directly from the pincer's notes it, 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 it could be quotes or it could be data points that are mentioned in my body so that uh, uh, body of the answers uh, that played a huge role for me uh, i think uh, gs is more about how you improve a half mark in each question because cumulatively it'll add up to a great gs score so in in that way uh, following uh, following the pincer's classes i could i could add a lot of data points all the specific points that the examiner specifically looks for uh, i think that it that was made easy uh, for me uh, with uh, the pincer's classes that is what I've, uh, for me I've, and i also learned uh, about the mains structuring of your mains preparation it shouldn't be you should not uh, run behind uh, daily newspapers rather like of course you have to read your newspapers so that you stay in touch with what's happening uh but the mains preparation is more about a topic you you choose a topic that's in the news and you prepare from that so that's where your uh, preparation starts from you choose the topic and then you prepare so i think that is also uh, that the, it was ingrained uh, because of the classes wherever i would pick a topic i would if even if that was not discussed uh, in the classes for uh, any time constraint issues i would uh, write the topic uh, at the back of the pages of the already existing notes 
and I would further research and make a structured notes uh, uh, more uh, exactly like what uh, sir has discussed in the classes. So yeah, that has made uh, my, my mains preparation very easy. So I did not, even though it was my first mains, I did not face much of an issue when it comes to uh, the preparation and I was even scoring decently in the uh, in the in the NGP <coughs> tests uh, because I borrowed most of my points from Dipin Sir's classes itself. The thing with civil services is you can never be 100% sure. You could do all that's in your hands and at the end of the day, you could still fail uh, prelims. Uh, that's very heartbreaking, especially like uh, as Ayush Sir would uh, often say, it's one thing to fail in prelims. It's uh, another thing to not get an interview call. If you fail in mains, you'll, you'll, you can tell yourself at least you've cleared prelims. You have that uh, confidence. Uh, and you can approach the next attempt with uh, a much more uh, rigor and confidence. But when you fail in prelims itself, it's it's very disheartening and uh, it it takes out a lot of the confidence that you entered this process with. So, uh, and of course, so that's why in my 20, 2021 attempt, in my first attempt when I failed prelims, and I failed with a decent margin, I've, I, have not, I've, I haven't even come close. So uh, it was very heartbreaking, of course, at first, but soon I've realized uh, I have two options uh, because the next prelims, because of the COVID, the next prelims was going to be in seven months. So I've, I've, I've realized uh, five months, I'm definitely going to give for uh, prelims, no matter what. Uh, of course, there are people that say you, you have to, you, you just have to give two or three months. Uh, that's their uh, perspective. But like after failing the prelims, this is what I believe has worked for me. So first two months after failing uh, the prelims, I dedicated it uh, completely for the optional, uh, my optional PSIR because partly because I've already uh, paid for the courses that I've applied for. But yeah, I made good use of the two months the following the prelims debacle. And after that, five months, uh, uh, primarily because of SFG, joining SFG, it started in January itself. And I kept giving tests, more and more uh, mock tests I've given. And I've worked on all the all the gaps, all the knowledge gaps that, uh, that were not visible to me in the first attempt. Uh, perhaps probably because of the uh, less number of tests that I've given. So here, with more, with more and more mock tests, with more and more dimensions being covered in these tests, I could, uh, I could uh, bridge a lot of the knowledge gaps and that helped me clear prelims by a decent margin. Uh, I was scoring uh, 111.8 in my 2022 prelims. There's always a confusion associated with uh, prelims. Like we've all been there. You, you're wondering whether to give more number of tests or to revise the notes that you already have. Uh, but I think we should realize that this is not an either either or game. Like prelims is all about uh, how you balance between the two. Of course, you can't just keep giving the tests and and learn what what's given in this test because every year UPSC surprises us, us with uh, newer questions. You can't you can't see them coming. So no matter how many tests you do, the, none of those topics are going to get repeated. So it's more about uh, revising your static and also giving decent number of tests at the same time because. The, the what the, you know you, you must have heard about active recall which is when you're solving an MCQ uh, your, your your brain is scrambling around to find uh, some some sort of hint to solve that question so you have to get used to that uh, procedure the entire procedure of once you see the question you analyze the options one by one and you look for the most like most wrong one first and you eliminate it all these tricks if you don't have these uh, like if you don't hone these skills enough uh, no matter how much knowledge you have, it, it, it gets very difficult to clear prelims. So even if you work on your accuracy, how many questions you're attempting, all these things, you'll only get to know uh, with more and more number of tests that you give. So you have to balance between revising the static part so your knowledge remains uh, adequate enough and you have to balance it with uh, the number of tests also. So I would suggest uh, a sweet, uh, a sweet uh, bracket would be uh, somewhere between, if you're looking at the full length tests, Somewhere between 50 to 70, I would say, would be the sweet spot. Fortunately, in my first mains itself in 2022, I got a good enough score. My main score was 811. So I think uh, what worked in my favor was uh, uh, like after the like like I said after the first uh, prelims debacle, I've spent a lot of time uh, making notes for my optional. So because optional, uh, like it, it, the fact of the matter is, the your main score will like more than around 40 to 50 percent of it will depend on how much you've scored in your optionals because it also it, because it carries a lot of confidence in the other GS papers as well if you if you've done your optionals well you'll be able to uh, do decently in your GS as well that's that that's my personal opinion so uh, because of preparing uh, for optional uh, much much before the second prelims I think I had the notes ready and after the mains got over I got enough time to focus solely on GS papers 
primarily on GS papers. And I had to give hardly 20 to 30 percent of the time uh, for optional because I, I have the notes ready. Uh, I just had to practice answer writing for which I've taken a test series uh, uh, at, a, at, at a coaching institute and I've completed the test in a timely manner. So, uh, so the rest of the time I had for GS, I think so because GS also plays a huge role uh, if, you're, if you're looking to clear uh, mains in the very first attempt. So yeah, I think a good GS score uh, helped me uh, get get through in my first attempt itself. The most important uh, thing uh, about the interview preparation, I had my interview in the third phase. I had it in the last week of the of the whole interview cycle. So I basically had uh, more than five months to prepare for the interview, and uh, so it was it, it has gotten very hard after a point where uh, you're running behind more and more current issues. That there's always. Uh, newer dimensions to be covered uh, in your DAF topics. So it took up a lot of the time and I was, and I did prepare for five months. I had uh, a, a good set of notes that I prepared for the for the interview. Uh, I was I was hoping for a better score, uh, but uh, I'm not complaining. I got 179 marks. Uh, I have I've gotten uh, 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 Sri Arun Chobe sir's uh, board uh, in the final interview. Uh, it was uh, a pleasant experience. Like the like, I think one the biggest error that uh, uh, the student community, uh, especially during the interview stages, does is you you go into the interview hall with a lot of preconceived uh, notions. You can't help it because you're you're a first timer. You 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 tend to read up on all the all the uh, you know like be it the transcripts or the backgrounds of each uh, member of the UPSC. And I think that uh, uh, without you specifically realizing. You'll go in with a uh, certain uh, preconceived notion as to the kind of the kind of marks that they give, and it will distort uh, your entire uh, interview experience completely. That has happened in my case. Uh, I was sitting outside of uh, uh, Aran Chobe sir's board, uh, and of course there are certain preconceived notions uh, about uh, the kind of marking that goes uh, with sir's board. So that has induced a lot of anxiety in me. I could not control it after a point. And so I've so I sat there. I've realized, uh, you know, whatever, however the interview might go, I'm not going to have a bad experience. I'll try and I'll try my best to give the uh, inter uh, to answer the questions that were, that were asked without thinking about the kind of marking or without thinking of the final result. I'll just have a good time. It's only going to be 30 minutes, uh, so I'll just have a good time. I'll have a, a nice conversation uh, with the honourable members of the board. So with that mindset, I went in. Uh, I, I, uh, the, a lot of the questions have come from situational questions. Uh, Sri uh, Chobe sir has asked uh, situational questions based on Naxalism. How if I were uh, an IPS officer uh, in Telangana uh, or in any of the uh, districts affected by Naxalism, how I would uh, tackle, how uh, I would uh, approach sensitive uh, cases such as uh, encounters or shoot at site orders, uh, how I would balance the competing pressures of uh, an IPS officer, how you would have to be answerable to the the hierarchy as well, like and how you would sometimes have to speak up to uh, speak your mind to your uh, superiors uh, and uh, and without uh, without blindly following their orders. And around these lines, uh, a few questions have come. Uh, and after that, uh, there were questions uh, on since I had an economics background, there were questions on the IPO uh, debacle uh, of the four or five last IPOs that we've seen and the kind of startups and the cash burning, uh, the trend in the startups that we observe. So a lot of questions have come from that, from an, an honorable member. And the third member, uh, uh, there were questions about, since I had uh, international relations as, uh, my, as part of my optional, certain questions came from the about China and Pakistan and the CPEC corridor and how it would uh, hamper in, uh, Indian interest in the Indian Ocean. And the fourth honorable member has asked about my college. And uh, uh, the, I think one thing that uh, the UPSC board members do is to they try to corner you with a particular allegation and they, they, they try to look at how you react to it. How does it unsettle you or do you process it and how you uh, counter it. So the, the member has said uh, that uh, uh, because in the first question, uh, uh, based on how I answered the questions regarding uh, encounters, uh, he, the sir tried to corner me. Uh, he said that uh, people from uh, your, your college, you come here with your uh, lofty ideals and, you, and you're not able to uh, take up uh, missions that are sensitive in nature because of your, uh, because your ideals constrain you. Do you not see that as a weakness was the question. And I, and I disagreed with sir. I said, sir, uh, there are no lofty ideals. It's more about uh, being pragmatic. 
be thinking about the issue in multiple from multiple perspectives rather than uh, rather than simply following the directive without uh, due thought and due process being followed so and yes and the last member has asked about uh, the district that i come from it was uh, it was dealing with uh, the naxal issue uh, at a great magnitude uh, just 3 decades ago but now uh, naxals are no way to be seen well uh, it's not an absolute uh, thing but uh, there's very few naxal incidents that happen in your district so what what has worked uh, that was a question so uh, certain questions came from naxalism and how the dandakarnia region as a whole what kind of approach the naxal tackling naxalism would require as to how you would cooperate with the police forces of the neighboring uh, states such as chatisgarh maharashtra and how you would uh, coordinate your operations in such a way that you tackle the issue in a in a all rounded manner rather than rather than uh, dealing with naxalism in telangana and naxals escaping to the neighboring states so certain questions uh, few questions came from uh, that uh, topic as well and yes it ended on a uh, it, it ended on a positive uh, note i i was very satisfied with my performance and yeah i'm i'm not complaining about my score i'm quite uh, satisfied so uh, firstly i would like to say that uh, i am no different from any of the other aspirants i am just like uh, uh, everyone else uh, i somehow made it to the list this year but that doesn't mean uh, that i've not done things differently i did do uh, I, I've done basically average uh, uh, at, at an average level in all the uh, papers that and and I worked on whatever issues that I that I could see in my in my answers. So it's more about uh, doing everything in a consistent manner and uh, doing doing well enough, not extraordinary, just well enough in all the papers uh, at all the levels, and you will be on the list. You don't have to be extraordinary. You don't have to run behind uh, certain people and uh, the kind of. Uh, answers that they have written you don't have to directly copy uh, uh, from them of course you have to learn a few things uh, whatever you could borrow try and learn that so yes so that that i would like to say like i'm no different but what what i think has helped me uh, is by doing prelims uh, very well just just well enough so that it gives you a lot of confidence that you start mains preparation early enough you strategize everything within the first 10 days itself and after that you don't even have to wait for the results uh, to begin your uh, mains prep so and uh, the other thing is like uh, the test so mains i think in my personal opinion answer writing plays a huge role uh, I, uh, like of course it gets its uh, due importance from uh, all the toppers they suggest you uh, about it uh, and rightly so they have to Uh, because it plays that uh, big of a role so i have given a total of uh, 21 tests between prelims and mains and out of them 11 were uh, gs papers so uh, i made it a point that i do not miss the gs uh, uh, tests ka like time like if, if if it's on a certain date and i by hook or crook i have to give it on that date so if not uh, i'll i'll give it in the evening but on the same date so i made sure i show up for the tests at the at the coaching institute here at forum is i came here Uh, every other weekend whenever i had test i have come here have written the test have submitted and whatever feedback i got whatever uh, i thought i wanted to work upon i've i've come here with my paper i've i've been to uh, mentors here and i've taken their suggestions they felt me a lot uh, to be whether to be confident or way to work more upon I, you have to take these uh, uh, suggestions and you have to work upon them to the best of your ability of course you have to maintain the organic nature of your answers because i think that's also important you can, not everyone can write the same kinds of same kind of answers in the same sort of structures you, you could look at topper's copies and you realize there's no one way of uh, writing the papers they you, you just 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 open topper's copies and you'll you'll realize this so yes like you take the feedback and work upon them and uh, pay more attention uh, to uh, the papers where you're scoring low where your uh, weaknesses are for example for me uh, gs1 i was always very scared of uh, uh the certain subjects in gs1 such as geography and uh, history uh so what i've done was i've put uh, more effort in gs1 and that was visible in my scores as well i was fortunate to get uh, 119 in gs1 and i think that's to do with uh, the lot of preparation that i've put for geography uh, and history as well so i've written I, i feel like i've written satisfactory answers uh, in these subjects because i could see at an early stage because the first gs test at, at uh, forum that i've given i did not score uh, good marks by any uh, metric whatsoever so 
I I realize that this is an issue that I have. I have to work on it. So towards the end, when the last GS1 test that I've given, I was able to score very good marks as part of the MGP program. So this you'll only be able to uh, realize when you give the test and you realize you get the feedback. You realize you look at the marks. Of course, you don't take them too seriously, but that doesn't mean you don't uh, uh, you don't you, you become so blind that you can't see your own shortcomings in these in in, in certain subjects. So that I think that that's what worked for me. Like mains. Was all about writing, uh, writing these answers, preparing, writing these answers, ma ma making short notes, uh, short enough for you to revise between the between the papers on the final days. Like because you have GS1 and GS2 on the same day, and for entire GS2 to prepare for it, you only have one hour uh, between the exams. So you have to make very short notes that you can just uh, flip through uh, in the last hour and just go and sit and just just uh, try and reproduce most of it in your mm -hmm. papers. So I th that will work. That you can do when you work on uh, your mains papers as part of the mock test programs. You make short enough notes. You get these uh, uh, reviews from your uh, mentors, and you consult them in person if it's possible or on call. You have that facility uh, at forum at least. So I've done that. Uh, I've worked on all the suggestions that I got, and uh, that helped me refine my answers uh, in a in a systemic manner. There was always it was always a. A graph that kept on getting better. I was always able to score better marks in the uh, subsequent tests because of this strategy that I followed. And uh, if there is one advice that I would give to all the aspirants, uh, if uh, like I think it's high time that we realized that UPSC CSC is very unpredictable. You can't you can't uh, of course have. Uh, you can't, you can't be, you can't have high hopes and sort of uh, ruin your preparation because of the anxiety that follows from the sort of high hopes. Of course, you have to have uh, enough hope that you, uh, so that you can continue uh, with with the preparation in a good manner. You, so you work on whatever whatever your shortcomings were. So, but do not uh, do not like this. This is this something I borrowed from uh, one. Uh, Topper uh, uh, Minal Karnwal, ma'am, uh, in her talk she said uh, in Hindi she said UPSC ko sabne hawa bana ke rakha. Because of that uh, we're all running behind in a rat race sort of a thing, forgetting what our natural selves are. I think that's the biggest mistake you could make in this exam. Do not do that. Do not try to copy uh, everyone, uh, all these toppers. Do not try to strictly copy them. Of course, learn from whatever uh, wherever they've excelled. Learn from them. Uh, but do not make it a big deal. It's it's just a part of your exam. Uh, it might seem like I'm saying this because I'm on the other side of the uh, podium, but that that doesn't set me apart uh, in any way whatsoever. So yes, like do not uh, uh, make it. Do not make life very difficult for yourself. Uh, always try to take uh, try to take it easy. Uh, whenever you want to take a break, uh, it could be a day or two, or it could be uh, two or three hours in a day. Do that. Watch movies. I've watched a lot of TV shows uh, throughout my preparation, uh, be it prelims or mains. So do that. Uh, uh, have uh, make keep the environment on a lighter note. And yes, like uh, take care of your mental health. This is something that uh, that uh, despite uh, several attempts, not enough is being said about. Of course, there's a lot of anxiety. There's a lot of uh, 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 stress that's involved with the preparation, but. Uh, do take uh, due care of your mental health if you need any professional help do reach out do not do not have any taboo associated with uh, uh, the seeking help uh, uh, when it comes to your mental health issues do constantly keep in touch with your parents do not do not uh, by any means uh, isolate yourself 100% do not do that <coughs> try to make it in a, make it a healthy uh, preparation uh, and uh, do do talk to your parents and take their uh, guidance and advice uh, once in a while and Yes, in one word, just take it easy. I would like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Forum IAS because uh, throughout the course of last three years, if there's one a place that I could call home, uh, was Forum IAS for me. I was associated with it, uh, with the institute uh, at various stages of the exam uh, for the last over the last three years at all stages. So uh, I would take this opportunity to thank uh, personally thank Dipin sir and Ayush sir. Whenever I felt uh, that my that my prep was getting a little bit uh, too intense for me to handle, I would always consult Ayush sir and I would attend the motivational sessions uh, uh, conducted by Ayush sir or the articles uh, 
uh, that uh, uh, neon ak ayusar would write on the blog so it it helps uh, ease the mood and you'll 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 realize that you're not alone you have all these people uh, their goals and your goals are the same like you 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 have to clear the exam and uh, they 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 trying to do their best to make sure that dream is realized so yes and current affairs classes uh, again special mention for current affairs classes of uh, dipin sir uh, have, they have been a game changer for me uh, thank you so much uh, dipin sir uh, for that uh, and yes uh, to end the talk uh, to to end this uh, small talk i would uh, i would i would like to say some things in in telugu uh, nothing uh, nothing new uh, something that i've already said in the uh, in the in the in my earlier uh, whole monologues uh, so తెలుగు మన తెలుగు వాళ్ళు ఆంధ్ర తెలంగాణ నుంచి ఇక్కడికి ఢిల్లీ దాకా ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ ఢిల్లీ దాకా వచ్చే అవసరం లేదు మన దగ్గర మంచి కోచింగ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్స్ ఇక్కడ ఇక్కడ ఉన్న ఢిల్లీ టాప్ కోచింగ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్స్ ప్రెజెన్స్ అక్కడ కూడా ఉంది సో అండ్ ఇట్స్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ కోచింగ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్లా తీసుకుంటా కోచింగ్ తీసుకుంటేనే మనము ఎగ్జామ్ కొట్టచ్చు అనే ఒక హార్డ్ అండ్ ఫాస్ట్ రూల్ ఏం లేదు టేక్ ఇట్ ఈజీ మీరు ఎక్కడ మీ కంఫర్ట్ జోన్ ఉంటే అక్కడ ఉండి ప్రిపేర్ అవ్వండి అండ్ ఎక్కువ పెద్ద దీని ఒక యూపీఎస్సీ అంటే బిగ్ డీల్ అనుకొని ఎంటర్ అవ్వకుండా అంతా ఏమీ అఫ్ కోర్స్ అందరికీ స్ట్రెస్ ఉంటుంది అందరికీ యాంగ్జైటీ ఉంటుంది కానీ ఇది రాకపోతే ఏమో అయిపోతాం అనేం కాదు లైఫ్ గోజ్ ఆన్ అందరం మంచిగానే ఉంటాం లాస్ట్కి టెన్షన్ ఎక్కువ తీసుకోకండి ట్రై టు కీప్ ఇట్ లైట్ మంచి మీ ఫ్రెండ్స్ని పెట్టుకోరి అఫ్ కోర్స్ స్టే అవే ఫ్రమ్ మనకు తెలుసు కొంత ఎట్లాంటి ఎట్లాంటి ఫ్రెండ్స్ దొరుకుతారనేది కొంచెం ట్రై అండ్ బీ కేర్ఫుల్ of what kind of uh, social circle that you maintain around yourself antar kada manamu we are the average of the five people that we surround uh, ourselves with so try and make sure uh, uh, you have those good set of five people that constantly uh, inspire you and motivate you evvaru negative advice ichina ani negative sort of feedback friends nunchi vachina gaani light ga iskondi mancha relaxed ga unte i think this is doable ఫస్ట్ టైం పోతే కావచ్చాము సెకండ్ అటెంప్ట్లో పోతే కావచ్చాము ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ దర్ ఆర్ పీపుల్ నాలుగు అటెంప్ట్లు ప్రిలిమ్స్ క్లియర్ చేయకుండా ఫిఫ్త్ అటెంప్ట్లో టాప్ ట్వంటీలో ర్యాంకులు కొట్టిన వాళ్ళు ఉన్నారు ఎగ్జామ్లో ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ఐ డోంట్ సజెస్ట్ మీరు బ్లైండ్గా ఇస్తూ ఇవ్వండి వితౌట్ ఎనీ ఇంప్రూవ్మెంట్ అని చెప్పాను ప్రతి అటెంప్ట్లో ఇఫ్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్స్ టేకింగ్ యూ మోర్ దెన్ టూ త్రీ అటెంప్ట్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రియలైజ్ ఏదో ఏదో తప్పు చేస్తున్నాం మనం అనేది సో బాగా సెల్ఫ్ అనాలిసిస్ అనేది బాగా డీటెయిల్గా చేసుకోవాలి మనది మనమే లైక్ ఎంత మనం ప్రొఫెషనల్ హెల్ప్ తీసుకున్నా కానీ కోచింగ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్స్ దగ్గర మనం చేసుకునే సెల్ఫ్ అనాలిసిస్ అనేది చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ దానికి మీరు మీ ఓన్ షార్ట్ కమింగ్స్ మీ కాపీస్ మీరు అనలైజ్ చేసి ఓన్ షార్ట్ కమింగ్స్ని మీరు నోట్ చేసుకొని దాని మీద వర్క్ చేసుకుంటే మీరు నెక్స్ట్ అటెంప్ట్లో యుల్ యుల్ బీ ఏబుల్ టు పర్ఫామ్ మచ్ బెటర్ అంతే కానీ మనం బికాస్ ఆఫ్ సీయింగ్ లాడ్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ అది ఎక్కువ వర్క్ చేయకుండా వాళ్ళ షార్ట్ కమింగ్స్ని వాళ్ళు అంత అవగాహన లేకపోవడం వల్ల వాళ్ళు అదే మిస్టేక్స్ని మళ్ళీ మళ్ళీ రిపీట్ చేస్తూ అంటిల్ అ పాయింట్ వైర్ ఇట్ బికమ్స్ టూ లేట్ సో యా మూవీస్ చూడండి మంచిగా కామెడీ మూవీస్ చూడండి నేనైతే సొంత మూవీ కామెడీ సీన్స్ బాగా చూసే వాడిని ఎప్పుడు టెన్షన్ అనిపించినా అని సో లైట్ 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 మూడ్ పెట్టుకొని ఎక్కువ ఏమీ స్ట్రెస్ తీసుకోవాల్సిన అవసరం లేదు బికాస్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కౌంటర్ ప్రొడక్టివ్ స్ట్రెస్ ఎవరికైనా ఉంటుంది ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ బట్ దాన్ని డూ నాట్ లెట్ ఇట్ గెట్ ద బెటర్ ఆఫ్ యూ హ్యాపీగా ఆనందంగా మంచిగా ప్రిపేర్ కానీ ఏం ప్రాబ్లం లేదు అండ్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఎక్కడ ఇక్కడ ఎక్కడ మీకు ఎక్కడ ఎక్క ఎక్కడైనా గైడెన్స్ అవసరం ఉన్నా యూ కెన్ ఆల్వేస్ రీచ్ అవుట్ టు మీ ఆర్ ఫార్ మై ఇస్ ద గాడ్ ఎక్స్పర్ట్స్ హియర్ ఏ కోచింగ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ అన్న డూ రీచ్ అవుట్ ఎక్కడ హెల్ప్ కావాలన్నా మీది మీ మీరే ఐసోలేట్ చేసుకొని మనం మనమే చేసుకుందాం అనేది కాదు కొంచెం మీరు అనలైజ్ చేసుకొని సెల్ఫ్ అనాలిసిస్ అలాంగ్ విత్ ప్రొఫెషనల్ ఎయిడ్ ఐ థింక్ ఇట్ విల్ హెల్ప్ యూ గెట్ త్రూ అందరికీ బెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ లక్ ఎస్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ దిస్ ఆపర్చునిటీ బెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ లక్ ఎవ్రీవన్ థ్యాంక్ యూ